Hello friends. Welcome to the Aman Global Channel and a brand new video. First and foremost, don't forget to like and subscribe. In this video, we'll be diving into Leonardo AI. With the power of Leonardo AI, we can create extraordinary 3D images in no time. Leonardo's artificial intelligence provides remarkable capabilities for crafting stunning 3D images. And in this video, we'll explore in detail the parameters at our disposal for image creation. Essentially, this video serves as a comprehensive guide to transforming real images into the theme and style of 3D animations. So, let's get started sooner, shall we? To make use of Leonardo AI's features, an initial registration is required. After the initial registration, we log into the Leonardo Artificial Intelligence website. From the left menu, we click on the AI Image Generation section. In this section, we can create desired images using prompts. We can see the images I previously created. From the left menu, we go to the Image to Image section. In this section, we can provide our own images as a source to the website and create a 3D character based on these images. Now we click on Upload and select our image. Then, we wait for our image to be uploaded. After uploading the image, we need to make some settings. In this section, we determine the number of images created for each prompt. The Leonardo website offers various models for generating images, each with its own unique features. In the next section, we choose the model that the Leonardo website uses to create the image. To start, we select the DreamShaper V5 model. Next to its name, we see the dimensions that this model works with. We can enter these dimensions in the left section. In the left menu, in the bottom section, we have a very important parameter called init strength. Changing this parameter has a significant impact on the final output. The higher its value, the more the output and the final image will resemble its source and reference. In this step-by-step -step video, we explore the changes in this parameter and create various examples by modifying the init strength parameter. Now it's time to enter our prompt. We use a series of words to describe how we want the 3D image and the output to be. So, in this section, provide detailed descriptions. Here, I'll enter a series of descriptions. We can even enter words in the add negative prompt section that we don't want our final output to resemble. Now, by pressing the generate button, we wait for the desired 3D images to be created. Well, the images have been generated, but I'm not satisfied with them, and I intend to create newer and more appealing images by changing the parameters. First, I increase the number of final output images to 4. In the next step, I slightly modify the init strength parameter to make the final output closer to my original image. Now, by pressing the generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. As you can see, the generated images closely resemble our original image, but I'm not satisfied with them, and I want to create better images with new modifications. Now I decrease the very important parameter, in its strength. Now, by pressing the Generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. As you can see, with the decrease in the in its strength parameter, the generated images bear no resemblance to our original image. So, be extremely careful when using this parameter. From the left menu and the top of the website, you can see the amount of your credits in the free panel. In the next step, I slightly modify the init strength parameter to make the final output closer to my original image. Now, by pressing the generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. While the new images are being generated, let's take a look at the previous generated images. Well, the new images have been created, 
and I'm not satisfied with them either. I'm looking to change the parameters to create a better image. In the next step, I slightly modify the init strength parameter to make the final output closer to my original image. Now, by pressing the Generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. All the images are based on the prompt in the style of the Toy Story animation. Given that I have no interest in beards and mustaches in the images, by including these words in the Add Negative Prompt section, I prevent their presence in the new images. I check the daily credit amount, and now by pressing the Generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. As you can see, all the images are based on the Toy Story animation because I included those words in the prompt section. And now, once again, I slightly modify the init strength parameter to make the final output closer to my original image. Now, by pressing the Generate button, I wait for the desired 3D images to be created. To see newer and more captivating results, I once again modify the init strength parameter and press the Generate button. In the prompt section, I add a new word. Once again, I modify the init strength parameter and press the generate button. The characters are in the style of the Toy Story animation. Now it's time to change the image generation model and see the results of other models. I choose the Leonardo Creative model and continue the journey. The results are interesting, but I'm not satisfied with these new images. Once again, I change the image generation model to Leonardo Diffusion. I'm not satisfied with this model either, so I switch to the Leonardo Signature model. I'm still not satisfied with this model, so I switch to the Stable Diffusion version 2.2 model. I'm still not satisfied with this model either, so I switch to the Dream Shaper V5 model. I adjust the init strength parameter, check the credit balance, and click on Generate. As you can see, the images generated by the Dream Shaper V5 model are more appealing. To see newer and more captivating results, I once again modify the init strength parameter and press the generate button. Once again, I increase the init strength parameter and press the generate button. Once again, I increase the init strength parameter and press the generate button. 
the more I increase the init strength parameter, the closer the new images resemble the source image. Now let's try something different. With the same previous settings and the same level of init strength, I press the generate button. Once again, I increase the init strength parameter and press the generate button. Once again, I significantly increase the init strength parameter and press the generate button. The more I increase the init strength parameter, the newer and more captivating the 3D images become, resembling the source image more closely. And now, for the last time, I increase the init strength parameter and press the generate button. The generated images now closely resemble the source image. With this comprehensive guide, you can create your desired images.